Okay, hi. So um, this is the dashboard for the uh, college um, or academy. Um, and um, what I wanted to show you here is just simply, first of all, how to upload your college logo. So if you went to account details and you go to choose file, so you click that and then you find the JPEG image or any kind of image file. And once you found it, um, it will show the file name here, but then it's really important to click upload company logo and then it will populate there. So there you go. Go back to the dashboard. So one of the, the, the main feature for being a, a college that are providing uh, training on, on heat engineering, heat engineer software, is to uh, is, is accessing this button here. So what this enables is I'll go access trainees, uh, it shows you the page which we've got um, here as a default sort of uh, test here, um, shows some the student names here on the left and then we've got the email addresses for the students. Um, and um, if we wanted to add more students to this particular classroom, um, if we went to add names, so add trainees, um, this is the scenario where you can get them to, um, you know, the idea is that you'll have this on an overhead projector or smart screen and you can ask each learner to get out their mobile phone and scan the QR code. That's the quickest, fastest way um, that will take them to a page where they'll be able to enter their name and their email address and they'll be automatically added as a trainee into your college dashboard. Um, uh, there's another way you can sh uh, share the hyperlink but um, it's much quicker because they're going to be in the classroom anyway um, for them to get that mobile phone and scan that QR code go back to the list now if having completed you know whether it's a day or two day or a whole week on on, on using the the software um, and you've got a new new bunch of learners in the classroom um, that you need to reset this. So the idea here is you can click this reset and refresh button and that will remove all the learners from the dashboard so they won't be able to access any of the, the heat loss reports or, or send you surveys anymore because the idea is to, is to refresh it for a new uh, a new, a new um, uh, class. Um, I'll go back to the main dashboard here but since you know I, I've added, I've asked, we're in the scenario now where I've asked the classroom to scan the QR code. I've got like five, six, six, six learners in here. Um, and um, we're at the stage where we want them to play around with a submitted survey. What we've done is, I, if I click on submitted surveys, is we have a default um, survey here, so 42C Drive, and it's one which um, we've we've created ourselves on the app, and it's got photographs of the plant room. I say a plant room of the, uh, of, the of the cupboard where we've got the hot water cylinder. It's got photographs of the boil existing boiler, and it's got certain um, photos of of existing radiators as well. So it's quite a useful sort of what you would expect to see on a survey. Um, it's kind of the ideal. Um, it's like the end game of what you're trying to achieve in a survey um, and because you've got multiple learners in here and you all want them to have a have a go on this uh, completed survey you can create multiple copies based on how many learners so if you've got like six learners in the class I can click copy and just pay attention to the date here so all of the date here is on the it's the 11th of January um, and I've, you can see here earlier I did created just about half past nine this morning. If I click copy, it's created another six copies of the same report um, from you know nearly nearly ten to eleven this morning. Um, so we've got another copy there. So it's you're creating um, depending on how many learners you got, you can create as many test test surveys. And when I did show you the reset and refresh button. <clears throat> That will delete any existing surveys here that haven't been used. So it just cleans the whole dashboard for you, apart from submitted surveys, which I'm going to go and show you now. Click on dashboard. So I will show you what it looks like from, from the learner's perspective when they actually log in as a trainee and uh, they can click on a, a survey to, to go through. Um, uh, still looking at the main dashboard, um, mentioned about adding trainees when you're adding trainees and they are scanning the QR code and automatically adds them, it will add them as a surveyor so they can then use the app and, and enter the details room by room for their own survey, but also um, it automatically adds them as a designer as well. So we've got, uh, if I click on designers, we'll see the learners are here. Um, don't worry about this costing here because you are a college 
um, you have a college account um, or academy account, then you won't need to pay anything. So this is just for our paid users here. I'll go back again. So just to clarify, designers are when one of your users, your trainees end up having to pay for an account, if they have designers, it enables them to have multiple dashboard um, users to log on and complete heat loss reports. Surveyors, um, that is the access to complete a room by room survey on the mobile phones or the tablets to then send it to the online dashboard. So there's flexibility that you have surveyors and designers there. As a trainee, they have access to everything. And again, going over it, they scan the QR code um, and they will automatically be added as a designer and a surveyor. Um, so completed reports, let's see what we've got here. Um, I can see that um, it looks like Sean Andy has been working on one. So this is just showing what a trainee might be working on. If I click on logs, I can see that a Andy Cartwright's been using this particular survey um, and is working on it. Um, if I wanted to get access to this report um, as a as a teacher, as a lecturer, um, I can click force unlock so I can go in there and, and make some changes. But at the moment I can see a student is, is working on it. I go to dashboard again. So that's reports in progress. Go on to completed reports. So can you see there's 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 two in there at the moment. I can see um, uh, this one has been completed already. Um, and this one here is locked by Tom Kane, a student. So it shows you the name of the student that's completed this report. So this helps you if you're going to make any assessment of what the student has done, the trainee has done. Um, and again, we can sort of look at what they've been doing. So I click on log, I can find it. Yes, this morning, um, Tom Kane had been working through these pages here. Um, and um, again, it's saying kind of accessible for, for them. Um, I mean, so if I click here as a as a lecturer, as a train as a trainer, a teacher, um, I can't click on it because they are working on it. Now I can force that unlock if I wanted to go in there and uh, and review and assess that data there, that, that survey. Um, but at the moment it's really important that multiple users don't go in and and um, work on the same report at the same time because it it can cause um, lots of issues because if someone's making the same changes at the same time um, on different computers, you can imagine that it will, for, it will cause a lot of confliction. So that's why we have this kind of lock there. Um, I go back again. Um, so that's the um, how to um, set up the access trainees. We've got the submitted surveys. We've got the um, which you can copy. Um, based on how many learners you've got um, and you have and it will automatically add the trainees as a surveyor and designers and you can keep track of the completed reports as well so that's um, how the dashboard works as a as a as a teacher a trainer okay so this dashboard shows you what the trainee the learner will see and um, of course they've scanned a QR code, they've typed in their detail, their name and their email address um, and they, they will be sent in an email um, and with a password. So you simply use their email address um, and their password to log into the main Heat Engineer dashboard. Um, once they're logged in, they will see this. Uh, you may recall that as a, a trainer, as a lecturer, I um, created a couple of reports, didn't I? So if I click, and so all trainees have access to all the submitted surveys in there. And uh, I mentioned before that you know there is essentially a copy from one of our um, default surveys that we've made, which we believe is really good for, for training purposes. It's the kind of what you would expect from a good survey to be submitted. Um, so I'm a trainee, I'm, my name's Tom, um, and I'm going through, I can click on any of these, so it doesn't really matter, they're all the same, um, and you can see that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, these are the six copies that I made um, earlier on, um, so I click on click on that one, um, and here I can go start going through uh, and completing the heat loss, um, the heat loss report throughout the, the nine steps. 
Um, and as I said, they all got like photographs on here as well. So this shows you, um, again, it demonstrates the, the, the trainee, the learner, that what you would expect to have uh, from completing a site survey for a room by room heat loss calculation. So um, for example here, um, mentioning the dimensions of, of the cupboard that are available, and then we've got the depth and the height as well. Um, and then there's this serial, the serial, the serial stick, the serial, sorry, the label of the hot water tank as well. Um, so all kind of information, all information which is important there. So go back. So I'm not going to go through all the kind of nine steps because we show that on another video um, for the training, but just wanted to show you what it looks like from a learner's perspective. Um, because I've just clicked on that report, I'm um, gonna click on here, and I can see that um, the reports in progress from other other users. Um, and um, if I go to, oh, hang on, let's just in fact, let's just do that because I didn't really do anything there, did I? So let's just type in, let's do that and type in that, and just to get past this first page because then I mean, it can just save it. So I'm just clicking on anything at the moment just to get past this first page. So the moment you click next, it will save it. And so this will be in, should be in the in the reports in progress page now. So if we go back to the dashboard. So now I've made some changes to a new survey submitted and I went through up to sort of step three. It should be now in the reports in progress. And uh, if I click on this one is blue. So this is locked out to me. So again, I can as a learner. Um, I can go in, well, I can have a look at um, logs, and I can see there's my name there. And I can go back in again, and it will take me to where I kind of left off there. So that's the reports in progress. So learners can't work on other learners, um, so it keeps saying learners, but learners trainees. They can't um, click on any other report because they're assigned to other trainees, okay? So if it's blue, then they can go in and um, and make changes and, and complete complete the heat loss report and again if they wanted to sort of like check who's who's is this they can uh, see the learner name there as well if i wanted my uh teacher my lecturer to go in and 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 have a look see what i did then i can click unlock there um, and then they can make changes and edits if they like because they'll be able to see it from their main college dashboard okay completed reports so um, again, this is this is all um, the, all the learners will be will appear here um, because that's unlocked. I can go in. This one is is used. It, this one was uh, click on that on there. This is for me as well. Tom Kane as a, as a learner trainee, um, and I can download the report and, and have a look, see what's going on there as well. And when you do download the report, even as a uh, a trainee or a learner, um, sorry. A tra a trainee or a teacher, um, it will create a, a watermarked PDF version of it. So it's sort of, I'm just downloading a report at the moment. Okay, so the heat loss report has downloaded and I've opened up in a PDF and we can see that the first page has got the installation address with the project reference at the top and of course your college logo will appear in the middle. Uh, scroll down, see the contents page and the summary results will actually highlight what the uh, external temperature is. Let me just zoom in a second so you can just see that. We've got a minus 1.4 and it says what the heat loss is at 5.89 kilowatts. And just an overview of the worst performing room, the model that's selected, the flow tar the flow temp the maximum flow temperature, um, the rooms that have been involved as well, um, the max the um, number of rooms are in the heat loss and the total floor area. So um, we do have other videos that go through showing you how to complete the room by room heat loss calculation and, and, and goes over the overview of the report as well. So really this is just a demonstration to show you what the education license shows you. So essentially it's exactly the same but we've watermarked it with education use only. And because this is a typical report that we've got as defaults so that all your students to go through and, and go and, and set up it shows you what the end result is really here. Um, so we have their photographs here in the in the report as well. So that's all there as well. Um, we've demonstrated here if it was an air source heat pump, that's where a proposed location would be. So that's it. That's the that's the education 
uh, PDF version of the report once you've downloaded.